I have got to give credit where credit is due. Lucid has surprised me. Uh, they finally revealed the details of the battery size that allows them to achieve that insane 517 mile range. It's a 113 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's right, 113, which is way smaller than I think a lot of people were anticipating. I covered it back when Lucid originally unveiled that their higher class vehicle could exceed a 500 mile range. But again, when they disclosed that number, they didn't tell us what the size of the battery pack was, which made a lot of people believe, well, perhaps you've got really good energy efficiency that's pretty close to that of the Model S, but if you put in a 120 or 130 kilowatt hour battery, it's really not that impressive because you've just crammed some more batteries in there and said, there, we can go farther. But that adds, you know, a lot of weight to the vehicle. That adds to the overall cost. And while the revealed battery pack size is technically larger than the Model S, the truth is the energy efficiency is officially better than what Tesla is offering today which by the way, I want to just reiterate, Lucid is not a Tesla killer. They don't want to be associated with that name and they confidently believe they can coexist with Tesla. There's lots of space in the automotive market for competition and for multiple brands and companies doing things that other companies don't do. So this isn't death to Tesla. It's mainly just acknowledging that other companies are also capable of catching up when it comes to breakthroughs in range and energy efficiency. And seeing that they only increased the size of the battery compared to the Model S by around 13 percent but resulted in an over 20 percent larger range again estimated by the epa that shows that there is other companies out there that are able to achieve game-changing range with reasonably sized battery packs i get that 113 kilowatt hours is you know still quite massive compared to most electric cars on the road today but on september 9th lucid is going to unveil their production models of the lucid air and while this is meant to be going up against the mercedes s-class market so i'm sure the lucid air is going to be very likely be more expensive than the Model S and probably even the Model X because it's going for that luxury segment. If Lucid is comfortable making shorter range EVs with smaller battery packs, that's when you could see some real next generation efficiencies because we are obviously just hearing about the top of the line model, the model with the best of the best battery and obviously those range numbers look really, really promising for Lucid so they want to advertise them now but this makes me as an EV fan very, very curious to see what they have in store for if Lucid decided they wanted to make a 300 mile range EV or possibly even less. I mean, that's great that you can go that far, but honestly, it is kind of a luxury vehicle. So I don't know how many, you know, cross country road trips I'm going to want to take with something like this and stop it at every EV charge point that's in a Walmart parking lot. There's probably a lot of people that are going to be buying the Lucid Air that are kind of car enthusiasts and have lots of vehicles anyway. So selling one at a lower range that goes just 300 miles or somewhere around there, I don't think would be too crazy for many people out there at all. In fact, they probably want to experience a lot of these luxury brand design choices in those rear seats that recline all the way back, all that extra cargo space. In fact, Lucid is also claiming they have one of the largest frunks in the EV market with nine cubic feet of storage space. And if someone's just using this thing for driving around town and they can charge it at home, I still think 300 miles is plenty. And knowing they could achieve 300 miles likely with a smaller battery pack than what Tesla uses for the Model 3 and Y, even if it's more expensive than Tesla's models because they're not mass producing them at the same caliber, it's still a big milestone. And it's still great to see other competitors finally matching up with Tesla, given, you know, also a lot of the people working at Lucid are former Tesla employees. So kind of the skill and the magic of the game is running off from Tesla in the first place. But regardless, it's another company nonetheless. And while they want to emphasize on higher price premium vehicles, the CEO has mentioned that one day with scaling of production and being able to lower or the price of batteries, they want to make cheaper cars, sure, eventually, they want to get to that point, but I think these types of milestones in the EV community are not breaking every day. Typically, when we see traditional automakers bragging about EVs in range, they typically have energy efficiencies that are close to Tesla or pretty far behind, and even when the prices get close, you can tell a lot of companies just love shoving bigger battery packs in their cars so that they can say they have comparable range, but we all know because of the cost of batteries, those profit margins are a lot, lot slimmer, which means they're not as sustainable. And we don't want traditional automakers toying around with EVs, but still relying on gas cars for their bread and butter and to keep the lights on. I think the only auto companies that are gonna survive, 
the next century are the ones that learn to adapt quickly, figure out what they need to get good at fast, which is building batteries and building electric cars, not just checking it off for the sake of, yeah, see, we can do electric car, we know how to do it. You gotta commit, you gotta stick to it. And I like seeing an electric startup go that direction and also not have to be public. So many EV companies wanna be traded publicly now because they're seeing how much Tesla is growing and Lucid has yet to do that and they've got prototypes and they're starting production and actions, of course, speak a lot louder than words. So hopefully Lucid Air can hit the market early next year, which is just a few months away. Stay tuned for September 9th to see those official production models. I don't know exactly what they're gonna be talking about because it feels like they're kind of revealing all this info already, but most interesting data between the range and the battery size is fascinating. Feel free to let me know what you guys think of Lucid Air. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.